So who are you guys? Huh? Who I'm Adam, you? and this is Ian, and we're Gearbox. And what, what are you doing uh, on the sidewalk here? So we're going to give a demo of our robotic ball that's controlled from our smartphone. And um, we built this in about a month, but it's taken a lot longer than that to get good enough to make this. All right. Uh, let me uh, get over here so, out of the light. Oh, so step on the balls. <laughs> <laughs> don't break, don't so, my balls, man. <laughs> so what is this thing that we're seeing roll around, and how are you controlling it? So this is the Gearbox uh, robotic ball. Um, as I tilt my phone, the ball will roll in that direction. So if I tilt my phone forward, the ball will move forward. Yeah. So right now we're giving a demo of pretty, pretty low speed. Just to kind of give you an idea of the sensors and how all of that's working. Turn around and talk to me. Oh, turn around and talk to <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. So the crowd's in the background. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, no. And so, help it. There's a joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to the ball somebody. fell into the crack. <laughs> the, the ball falls in the crack and it doesn't go no more. <laughs> yeah. Not right so, now. So how much are these things? Um, right now, this prototype is pretty expensive. Yeah. But, um, in well, what are you expecting to sell In volume, we can, we can sell them at about $40, $39.99. Okay. And do you have any idea of when this thing is going to be productized and ready to buy? We are hoping five or six months we're ready for production. We, um, yeah. So just in time for Christmas? Yeah. It, it, well, it takes about four or five months to do a turnaround on a big hardware sale like that. So yeah. hopefully really banging for the February tour market because that's when a lot of these stores and big things buy on that. So <laughs> Was that it's kind of... So what's how do you explode it? How do you explode it? <laughs> do you explode it? <laughs> Jason Calacanis is over here. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's inside the ball? What, what's the technology and, and how does it get signals from your iPhone and how does it know where to roll? All right, so inside of the ball there's, um, there is a mechanical device that's controlling it, but to be able to tell it, like, I want you to go 25 degrees off north, you have to utilize a compass, a gyro, and an accelerometer and filter all of that in with a Kalman filter that's very complicated. It's actually extended Kalman filter. And using all of that, we translate a lot back to the phone, where the phone knows all of that same stuff too. So I'm gonna say, I tilt at this degree, it's saying, okay, well you're pointing this at 32 degrees off north, and I'll say, you go 32 degrees off north now. Can you uh, customize the ball and put LED lights in it, or uh, do yeah. anything fun to so make it flash it and light up? It does have LED lights on, and um, that's kind of a big thing that people were doing on the hack day, is just, let's light it up, let's get it to move, let's maybe get it to you know, spin the lights around, kind of like a, an interactive toy, and that's probably the thing that the cats like the most. Yeah, it? this is this is torture for cats. Isn't this it? is torture for cats, <laughs> and uh, kids love it. We yes. we made the API so easy that you know on our hack day everybody was able to just get it going, and even we had some kids that were really like 13 years old just got the API and started making something kind of neat. So, how long does the battery last inside? Um, like right now, going full speed at like 40 minutes to an hour, you can you know, max up the lipos inside of there, the lithium polymer batteries, yeah. to get a, a little more time. We're going to charge with inductive charging, so you don't have to plug anything in. You just set it on a charger. And the cool thing is, since your phone's got, you know, Facebook and all this cool stuff, just make it light up when you get a Facebook message. So you're going to the bathroom, and you're like, oh, I got a message instead of checking my phone. Or your balls some, yeah, your balls <laughs> <like> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> it Seems to be pretty easy to play with your balls, Adam. It's simple. It's simple to play with their balls. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to break them right now, too. <laughs> right. And uh, where do we get on uh, the waiting list for these things? So um, on our website, we're going to put up a pre-order for just okay. people who want to pre-order their own for now. Um, it'll probably be a little higher than 40 right now. But through enough sales and pre-orders from companies, we can hopefully get this down to a really good price. Now, on stage at Techstars, you were showing off some ways to hack it, and, and you can send some code to the... Tell me a little bit about what you could do as a as a programmer or a hacker who wants to do something custom with the phone. All right, so um, one of the really cool things is the way that we develop the, the chip in there is we allow you to kind of run your own wires onto the serial port. So somebody who wanted to could just control their garage door or start their car. I mean, we did all of this with this board. So you can also just take a normal RC car. Bring that over here. I, I want to get... Yep. So you can take a normal RC car cut the motor wires, connect our board to it, and then you have the simplest controlled RC car from your phone that you could ever imagine. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually use this technology to do things other than balls. Oh yeah, this technology can be used to do a lot of things. The ball is cool. just a really fun, like kind of unique way to do this, and it's really flexible. Like, 
you, if you made a car, it's a car. Like the games have to be around a car. You yeah. make a ball, like monkey ball, soccer, golf. Like the games started kind of coming out. We're like, let's make the ball. That might have been a bad decision because the ball is very, 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 very difficult to make. It's just we're both very good at robotics, and it was still very difficult to make. So cars and humanoid robots are kind of easy for us. The ball was crazy because it's rotating. So you're like. I so hope, where did the idea for this come from? What, what, what kind of uh, party were you at? <laughs> You're like, I think I'll make a robotic ball. <laughs> well, actually, um, the story's pretty funny. Ian and I, you know, kicking around the idea. We made the dev board. We could control all kinds of cool stuff. We're sitting at a table, and Ian's like, man, I want something I just pull out of my pocket, throw it on the table, and it does something really cool. I was like, let's make some marbles. I was like, well, let's make a robotic ball. Like, he's kind of made one before in the past that... But it was very challenging again. It was like, well, let's do it. Let's really just focus on it and let's do it. And so that's what we did. Yeah. And we made it and tested it and we broke it a lot. And then, you know, past couple of days we had to make a presentation too. Yeah. Show it off. Very so, cool. Was this the first time? You guys have shown it off to a few things in town here, but this is the, the first time you really have come out and shown it off. Big yeah, scale. kind of. We took it to um, Aspen Maker Fair. Like, so all the all the nerds liked it. We took it out here on the Pearl. You know, we had girls playing with it and kids and everything. Because it was like, hey, girls, come play with their balls. You know, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's not a joke book. Yeah, a joke book of all the ball jokes. The kids but, playing with your ball probably yeah, isn't wrong. Wrong. Yeah. nearly as fun. Yeah. Well, and actually, it's funny. Like in one of our presentations, we usually do that. Like you know, we say a funny joke, and then somebody was like, "Well, his kids could play with it," and I was like, "Man, Don't you gotta stay that. away. Don't you gotta watch out." Because I was like, Damn it. "Like your kids could play with our toys." Like, I had to, I had to hold myself back a little bit. But. How's it powered? Is it you have to plug it in and charge it, or is it removable um, batteries? No, we're gonna use um, inductive charging. So you just set it on the pad. Oh, so where's the cool. battery in here? That's a uh, great, what is so it? right now the, the battery is right in the sealed. middle. But we'll also we're using like two, two lithium ones. polymers. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. What else is here? So there's two wires. You can plug this into and that's that what, what caused yeah. the locomotion yeah. to happen? Yeah, we did that too. Yeah. Two uh, wheels, I mean. So it's basically like a hamster inside of a ball. So there's some motors on the bottom. Um, we have our communication system, a um, little microcontroller, and then a sensor board that tells the ball which way it's facing so that we can orient the ball uh, with the phone. So that we can tell the phone forward, the ball will go in that direction. Who are you? I wanted to go I'm Ian. The CEO of the gear box. Yeah. Very cool. Cool product. Very impressive. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks. I want one. Well, we're going to make the cool ball. Thank you so much for showing out. Awesome tutorials. Hey, man, take this apart. Why are you in your car?